Well, you basically answered the question, uh, and that is uh, you can't set up a timetable of withdrawing from any battle. Uh, all you're doing is telling your enemy your strategy, uh, and yes, they will be back. Uh, should it be unending? Uh, you have to ask what the definition of unending is. Uh, we still have troops in Germany, Japan, Korea. Uh, that's over 50 or 60 years. Uh, is that an issue? Are our troops in Germany an issue? Uh, I don't think so. I don't see anybody protesting troops in Germany. Uh, let's go to a step a little bit closer, Iraq. Uh, there was tremendous controversy over Iraq. Uh, it was a big issue, uh, last presidential election, uh, get the troops out of Iraq, you're fighting the wrong war. Uh, we're against the surge. Uh, Bill Pascrell, uh, my opponent, uh, voted to send the troops to Iraq. He voted against the surge, which basically, in my opinion, uh, ended the war. We just had an announcement uh, that all the combat troops uh, are gone. Uh, that's probably a little disingenuous, but by and large, the troops uh, left there are support troops for the Iraqi troops. I think that whole procedure could have do been done a lot quicker had we gone into Iraq with enough troops in the first place. Uh, there's a, a very important strategy uh, that I think our military has to learn, uh, and I think they failed in Iraq on that. You cannot go into a, a battle with too much force. There is no such thing as having too many troops. Uh, you can go in with too few troops. Uh, one of the best examples where this has really been shown is in Grenada. Ronald Reagan went into Grenada, I think he had three aircraft carriers and six or seven thousand troops for this little island less uh, smaller than New Jersey. Uh, but the whole thing was over in two days. Um, I went to Grenada about a year after uh, we had invaded and took some walks up into the jungle. Had we gone in with a short, uh, with a shortage of troops, and the um, insurgents there would have gotten uh, ensconced in the jungles, we'd still be fighting Grenada right now. So you need the troops. Uh, I think, and I got my fingers crossed on that because the jury is still out. There was just something on NPR this morning. Um, you know, are we done? is Iraq a victory? And the answer was uh, from the general who um, is running running the, uh, the war in Iraq, uh, that time will tell. But it looks good. He was positive about it. Going back more to your um, question about Afghanistan, we have to put the forces in to win that war. We have to dedicate ourselves to win that war. If we don't put the forces in to win, we are going to be in a stalemate for another eight or ten years. We did it in Vietnam. We almost did it in Iraq. We have to put all the troops necessary, and I don't know what that number is. I don't, I'm not privy to the top secret or the, the confidential intelligence um, messages, but we have to put the forces in to uh, stabilize Afghanistan. We then have to support an Afghanistan government and army, and then we can slowly withdraw, just like we did in Iraq, like we did not do in Vietnam, uh, like we did in Germany and in Japan and in the Koreas.